friends, I'm Professor Gloop. Do you still remember me? <laughs> Today, I'm going to teach you about space exploration. We will explore outer space together in this, <laughs> my Gabanet transport. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> You will learn about the history of space exploration, the technology involved, and of course, we'll look at some famous astronomers too. Do you know what astronomy means? Yeehaw! Watch out! Well, let me explain. Astronomy is the scientific study of stars, and this includes planets and comets too. Their history, position, movement, and composition. Astronomy is one of the oldest branches of science. Years ago, people used the moon as a calendar to plan their harvest. The Greeks were one of the first people who tried to explain the objects in space. Aristotle, Pythagoras and Ptolemy were among the Greek astronomers who were well known during that time. Aristotle 384 to 322 BC believed the Earth was the center of the universe and that the Sun and other planets orbited around it. Pythagoras, 580 to 500 BC, was the first person to state that the Earth was spherical and not flat. He said that the Earth seemed flat only because it was extremely large. He believed that the orbit of the planets was circular. Another astronomer was Ptolemy, who lived from 100 to 170 AD. He was well known for his theory that the Earth was the center of the universe and that all other objects revolved around it. His ideas were based on the beliefs of Aristotle. Ptolemy was later proved wrong by Copernicus. He 
was a famous astronomer from Poland. He is now known as the father of modern astronomy. His theory was that the sun was the center of the universe and that the earth and other planets orbited around it. He also stated that the earth rotated on its own axis and that the stars were very far away from the earth. Another astronomer was Johannes Kepler. He came up with Kepler's law. He showed that the orbitary motion of planets was elliptical and not circular as widely believed. This famous astronomer is Galileo Galilei. Yeah! He was the first man to use a telescope to look at objects in outer space. He started a new era in the study of astronomy. Using his self-made telescope, he found that the Milky Way contained millions of stars and planets. Through his observation, he confirmed Copernicus's theory that the Sun was the center of the universe. He also studied the sunspots that he observed on the surface of the sun and discovered four moons orbiting Jupiter. Did you know that astronomy was widely studied by Muslim astronomers from the 8th to the 14th century? Their contributions were mainly in the use of mathematical principles such as trigonometry, algebra and logarithms to study astronomy. Chinese astronomers studied how human activities were affected by events in space. They recorded important events such as eclipses and the movement of planets. They also came up with the lunar calendar. Okay, now let us look at a few more modern day astronomers. heard of Sir Isaac Newton? He lived from 1642 to 1727 and was one of the most famous English astronomers. Hmm. He discovered gravity and explained the movement of the planets around the sun. He explained that planets were able to move in their own orbits because of the force of gravity between themselves and the sun. Another modern-day astronomer was Edmund Halley. He lived from 1656 to 1743. He was the first astronomer to make a scientific forecast on the emergence of comets. He said that the last comet to be seen from Earth in 1682 would reappear in 1758. His predictions were found to be true. The comet was later named Halley's Comet. Sir William Herschel, 1738 to 1922, discovered the planet Uranus. He also discovered the shape of a galaxy. Johann Galle discovered Neptune in 1846, and Clyde Tombaugh discovered the last planet in the solar system, Pluto, in 1930. And in 1923, Edwin Powell Hubble proved the characteristics and the existence of galaxies. This is a telescope. 
The telescope is the most important instrument in astronomy. It enables distant objects in space to be seen from Earth. Let's look at how the telescope was invented and how galaxies were discovered. Hans Lippershey, a spectacles maker, invented the first telescope in 1608. But it was not intended for the study of astronomy. A year later, using Lippershey's techniques, Galileo made a refracting telescope with 30 times its magnifying power and used it to observe the stars in the sky. Galileo's telescope enabled him to study the faces of planet Venus and also the craters and mountains on the moon. In 1668, Sir Isaac Newton invented the reflecting telescope. This telescope was smaller yet had greater magnifying power than a refracting telescope. In 1937, Grote Reber invented the radio telescope. This disc-shaped telescope could detect radio waves emitted by objects in space. Outer space is the region beyond the Earth's atmosphere. To escape the Earth's atmosphere and venture into outer space, two major barriers have to be considered. They are the Earth's force of gravity and the lack of oxygen in outer space. Both problems were solved when Robert Goddard, an American, managed to launch a rocket into outer space using liquid fuel. His rocket moved at a speed of 11 kilometers per second to escape the pull of gravity and it had its own supply of oxygen. Since then, many rockets have been launched by America and Russia. These rockets were used to send man-made satellites to orbit Earth. Rockets were used to launch satellites to improve communication between the continents, to obtain information for weather forecasts, and for astronomers to study the Earth and other objects in space. In 1957, the Russians sent the first man-made satellite into outer space, Sputnik 1. In the same year, Sputnik 2 was launched. It transported a dog into outer space. The Americans sent their own satellite, Explorer 1, the following year. Man only began to venture into outer space in 1961 when Yuri Gagarin, from Russia, successfully orbited Earth in Vostok 1. Before that, only remote-controlled rockets were sent to space. And I'm sure that you know Neil Armstrong and Edwin Aldrin. They were the first people to step on the moon in 1969. They traveled in a rocket called Apollo 11. The use of rockets to launch satellites is very costly, and they can be used only once. That is why rockets were replaced by space shuttles. In 1990, Discovery, a space shuttle, helped to place the Hubble Space Telescope in space to orbit the Earth. A space shuttle can carry passengers and equipment at a much lower cost than rockets. It can be reused for future missions. It can also bring back old satellites that are no longer in use. telescopes are powered by solar energy. They enable man to see distant objects more clearly than when viewed with telescopes on Earth. Astronomers need not be in space to use the telescopes. 
as it can be remote controlled from Earth. Information that is received by the space telescope is sent using radio waves through communication satellites and base stations on Earth. Okay, now let's take a look at space probes. Do you know what a space probe is? Space probes are robots that are sent from Earth to explore other planets. Space probes can land on the surface of the moon or even on planets and photograph them. The first space probes were sent to the moon by Russia in 1959. Later, probes were sent to Saturn, Uranus and also Neptune. Information gathered by a probe is changed to radio waves and sent back to Earth through radio telescopes. In 1969, America sent three astronauts to the moon on board Apollo 11. Neil Armstrong and Edwin Aldrin were the first two men to step on the moon. Between 1969 and 1979, 12 astronauts landed on different parts of the moon. They brought back many samples of sand and rocks from the moon. Okay, guys, I feel tired and I want to take a rest inside my space shuttle. Before I go, let's recall what we have learned today. Astronomy is the study of the history, position, movement, and composition of objects in outer space. Copernicus, the father of modern astronomy, believed that the Sun was the center of the universe and that the Earth and other planets orbited around it. He also stated that the Earth rotates on its own axis. While Galileo Galilei the first man to use a telescope to observe outer space found that the Milky Way contained millions of stars and planets, studied the sunspots that he observed on the surface of the sun and discovered four moons orbiting Jupiter. Sir Isaac Newton discovered gravity and explained the movement of the planets around the sun. The telescope is used to enable distant objects in space to be seen from Earth. Outer space is the area outside the Earth's atmosphere. Rockets were used to launch satellites to improve communication between the continents, obtain information for weather forecasts, and for astronomers to study more about Earth and other objects in space. Space shuttles later replaced the rockets as they are more cost-effective. Space probes are robots that are sent from Earth to get information and photographs of other planets. Hmm, well, well, isn't that interesting? <laughs> okay, I hope you will remember what we have learned today. Because I have something for you! <laughs> Come on over, let's go for a ride. Come on over and hold on tight. Come on over, we'll fly into space, so come on, come on, come on. Get in my ship, we're gonna make a trip into the galaxy. There's so much things to see, we'll zoom up to the sky, and you can fly real high. Go past the satellite, I'll watch a meteorite. I've got a telescope to help you see so far. Across the universe, and you can see a star. We'll be in outer space, we've got a lot of space, so come on, come on, come on. Forever they will be. Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, the rest of the gang. They are the non-planets that 
circle the sun. Come on, come on. Come on over, let's go for a ride. Come on over and hold on tight. Come on over, we'll fly into space. So come on, come on, come on. Get in my ship, we're gonna make a trip Into the galaxy, there's so much things to see We'll zoom up to the sky and you can fly real high Go past the satellite, I'll watch a meteorite I've got a telescope to help you see so far Across the universe and you can see a star We'll be in outer space, we've got a lot of space So come on, come on, come on Mercury, Venus, Earth, they are the first three Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, forever they will be Circle the sun. Come on, come on. I've got a telescope to help you see so far across the universe, and you can see a star. We'll be in outer space. We've got a lot of space, so come on, come on, come on. Mercury, Venus, Earth, they are the first three. Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, forever they will be. Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, the rest of the gang. They are the nine planets that circle the sun. Bye-bye! See you in the final episode of Space Exploration. Bye! Bye-bye!